Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Iki, which is a game of Edo Artisans. We are going to be moving around the streets and the markets, interacting with the craftsmen, the artisans, the merchants of Edo. We're going to be hiring characters, training them up, giving them experience. There'll be fish, there'll be tobacco, there'll be pipes, there'll be buildings, all sorts of things going on. I am playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty. There are a few changes in the two-player game. You should still get a good idea, no matter what player count you're interested in, but there are fewer spaces for cards on the main board. Uh, there is going to be a space blocked off every round, and the fires are one milder. And we get a bit of a thing at the end of the round where we can put more cards out, but you'll see all of that. Before we get started i recommend you turn on your subtitles to the klingon channel if i've made any mistakes they'll be corrected there thanks steve and if you'd like to help me keep making playthroughs there are options in the description to help me out hey check out the patreon it's amazing it made this happen and thanks patrons for supporting me and for voting for Iki. so i'm going to be the first player i got the sun token here which is only in a two-player game by the way before anything happens uh, we well before the cards get revealed even we should do this uh, but there are 12 blocking tiles they're going to block off a different space every round and so we block off one of these spaces one of these spots that we can choose to send our workers a bit of a pain for me i was going to choose that one during setup in reverse order we chose characters had to put them on one of the outside spaces well, there we go our player boards which are everything's on the two player side by the way the other side is for three and four players so we have blocked off a space then we need to decide where we are going this is the turn order for the round and it's a bit misleadingly explained, I think, in the rulebook. Uh, the, you know, it's obvious from the iconography. Uh, the turn order is going to be whoever chooses this is going to go first for the rest of the round. And, you know, you'll get to move the most, but go last back here. What we are deciding is turn order for choosing cards, but also how many spaces our Oyakata meeple will move around the streets. The street is like a rondelle, and this is how many spaces we're allowed to move on it. We will start here and go round and round and round. And the space is important because you will get to interact with the shop on that space. There are different actions for every space. And if there is a citizen card there, you can interact with the citizen card for an extra benefit. For a two player game only, because there is one fewer space in each of the markets, the card in the middle costs more to get out, but you can interact with it from either of the spaces. So I am first. Okay, then I am just going to move the most. I'm going to try and go round and round and round this street. Marty's citizen is only a couple of spaces away. He's going to visit himself, I think. So that's the way of life phase. We have placed our Ikizama on the Ikizama track. Then phase B is the actions. We move our Oyakata and do business. So first of all, if a player chose this, they will go first. They can choose to move between one and four spaces in the streets, but for this initial part, they only get one mon in income. So you get to go first, you can move however many you like, but you're only gonna get one money. The normal way, and so Marty is gonna get to go before me. First of all, you choose, would you like four money or would you like to hire a new citizen? We want new citizens. We want to train them to get more income from them and points at the end of the game. You want as many different colors as possible. But you also want to match colors for bonuses throughout the game. I think Marty is he's going to go for a hiring citizen. He's going to go a little bit cheap. He's going to go for the sake peddler and he needs to pay two for that. So these are fours, by the way, and these are ones. Uh, we start with eight. So he takes this card and he can put it out on the board and he can choose where it goes. He can see now that I'm gonna be moving four. He's actually gonna pop it. Yeah, he's gonna pop it in the middle right here and he'll try and leech off bonuses a little bit as well. He has to pay an extra money for the space in the middle. So he needs to put one of his Coburn on the space at the bottom there. And then he moves his Oyakata, two spaces. Now we do have sandal tokens. We start the game with one of them. You can spend any amount you like to move an extra space along for each of them, but you cannot move fewer spaces than the number on the space that you picked at the start of the round. So Monty is visiting his own space. He wants to be able to feed his people. So the action on the space that he's on is pay three money to get two rice, and we will need to feed citizens. He's going to do that, so he's going to be a bit poor here. And the action of his salt peddler is to gain a rice as well. Oh, it would help if you could see the rice that the players have got to. So I have got a rice, but I'm going to need to get hold of some more if I want to be able to feed my citizens. Now, Marty visited a citizen card, used a citizen card that is his. 
his Coban is on it, nothing happens. If somebody else uses your card, that Coban gains experience and moves up, improving your income and eventually getting so experienced they retire and come over to your player board. And you might see that now because on my turn, I, first of all, I can hire someone or take four money. I would like some income, I'd like to save money, I'm tempted, but I'm gonna pay three for the cloth dyer here. And I don't know when I'm gonna go there. Let's go for a free space. Now there is the risk of fire every now and then after the fifth, eighth and 11th rounds, we're playing through a year. Uh, after those rounds, you can see there is a fire of increasing strength that is gonna come in one of the four districts. We don't know which, uh, these tokens are gonna tell us which, and it could be the same one, all three times. The fire is going to come in from this direction. You can see the symbol on each of the markets and it is going to work its way in. People with firefighting abilities or cards already there will douse the fire a little bit and hopefully it's been fought by the time it gets to my cloth dyer there. So I need a coconut on there as well. And then movement, one, two, three, four spaces. Do I want to use Marty's sake peddler? That could you know, it, it could be the only way that I earn rice this round. I think I will go for that free rice, but Marty, instead of earning a sandal as income, will now earn a rice as income, and his uh, Coburn is that more experienced and closer to getting on his player board and scoring. I'm also at the tobacco shop, so I can buy a pipe or a pouch or both, if I can afford them. The pipes will give you various benefits. In this case, it's moving up the firefighting track, which would be helpful. The pouches will also give benefits, but at the end of the game, you'll get points for your pouches. As long as you have one pipe, all of your pouch points are doubled. So I've got five money right now. I could afford to go a little bit cheap. I think I'm going to go for a pipe and a pouch. So the pouch is worth two points. And the pipe is going to move me one space up the firefighting track. And that's my turn. Then we have the event phase. At the end of the round, any character that has not been hired, get some money on them. You'll get that if you choose to hire that character. It can be spent to hire that character as well. We move on to the next month. Now this is for a two player game only. In odd numbered rounds, it's me. In even numbered rounds, it's Marty. We get to take one of these characters and put them out on the board. They're not owned by anyone. They don't gain experience. And as soon as they are used, they're gone. But they can increase bonuses gained. Yeah, I think I am gonna put the seamstress out here. Where am I gonna move to? Yeah, there's okay. Oh, actually no, here would be even better. Yeah, let's really get things moving. Okay, so I am ahead on the firefighting track. I place my Ikizama again. Oh, and we need to update the blocking, don't we? Now space four is blocked off. Oh, that is a pain to me. I was going to go four spaces and spend my sandals to move again because every time we go around and pass this space here, all of your Coburn gain experience. So I just wanted to give the game the old runaround, really. So we've blocked that off and we see four new characters as well as the one that's a little bit cheaper now. So you also get to move up the firefighting track for hiring either of those characters. So the monk firefighting, and it's a bit cheaper. Yamabushi here is very cheap, doesn't give me any firefighting right now, and would give me a special ability, if I can manage to get them upgraded all the way, would give me a special ability to be able to ignore one character getting killed by fire throughout the game. Hmm. So how many spaces do I want to move then? I think I want to move three which means Marty's stuck moving not as much. I think he's going to take some time out and improve his firefighting then. Yeah, he'll just go one. Right, so do I want four income? I have got five money. Do I want four income or to hire a new character? I want to hire a character. I'm going to go cheap. I'm going to hire Yamabushi. Should put them on here, kind of vulnerable space, but I can't really afford to spend anymore. So just spending one there. And then my character moves one, two, three. And so Yamabushi oh, needs my... Coburn, who is not moving along yet, because I'm using my own spaces, uh, moves up on the firefighting track. And then I'm at the fish market. I can buy a fish. You get points at the end of the game for how many fish you've got. They have to be different fish, fish from different seasons. So I could buy this one for two money here, and it would count towards this scoring. I would get three points for buying that fish. Or I could buy this fish and get an extra point at the end of the game. It does cost four. Do you know what? I think I'm going to. I'm going to go big. And I'm going to buy the expensive fish. Marty only has two money. I think is going to take income. Buy something next time, I think. And then just moves the one. He's going to move up the firefighting track. But does he want to use his own peddler? Oh, or my peddler. It would get him another money and a sandal. 
but it would help me a bit. He's got a lot of rice though. Yeah, he'll he'll help me and get some tokens for his trouble. And maybe he'll be able to move a lot more in future. Oh, I've moved me up the firefighting again, haven't I? He needs to move up the firefighting now. Then we take our Ikizama meeples. All the characters need a money on them, and this is where we start to run out of space. There are buildings, by the way. I will talk about them when we can build them, but no one's come up to get us wood yet. Marty can place a new character out. Oh, he's going to put the book lender out over here and try and help him with bonus scoring, I think. That's his plan. Okay. I'm going to move the deck out of the way and then we'll have some space for more cards. Okay, so here we go. This, the dice maker here can, you can pay to make some wood. And wood is a resource for a lot of, for all the buildings that are available this game. There is a card that lets you build with a discount. This is actually all the cards we are seeing here. We aren't seeing the carpenter that lets you build with a discount. You can build over here, but since we need wood, it's going to be tough, isn't it? Unless someone hires the woodsman. So I'm still ahead. We go into round three. So I'm still ahead on firefighting. I will pick first, knock over all my rice. And where would I like to go? I want to move. Oh, we need to see where's blocked off as well. One is blocked off. So I, I do just want to move. I could use one of the neutral cards. I don't have any money. So I probably, well, I definitely, there's no one that costs one that's got a coin on them. So I can't have anyone for free. I'm going to have to take income. Oh, but I need to decide where I'm going first. So I will have four money. I do need more rice, and we are about to feed people at the end of each season. So maybe I should just go over and buy some rice. Yeah, one, two, three, that would be then. I want to move three. Or do I? This helps Marty even more. I'm going to move four. Marty, probably going to get to go before me again. So Marty, I think he's sorted for food. He's got money as well, hasn't he? So he could make a good go out of hiring people. Oh, I know what he's going to do. He's going to... Yeah, he will forego the fish. He is going to move three. So he's going first. He's going to hire the dice maker. That's going to cost him three. And I hope he's got enough now to do what he wants to do. Paid three. And he gets the bonus... He's on the top of the firefighting track now. And he's going to move one, two, three. No experience because it's his own person. But he can pay one to get a wood. And then the action here is pay one to get a rice or one to do a build. He is going to build what's available. Now, some of these need Koban, which you can buy here. Six for one or ten for two. Uh, so he hasn't got those. He's, he's only got one wood. So he's got the Imperial Villa here. At the end of every season, two money. For each character in the type he has recruited the most of. That needs four wood. It's two points for every space at the firefighting track you've gone. But he's going to go for the farmhouse. It costs a wood, a sandal, and two money. And where's he going to put it out? He's going to pop it out here. So it takes up a space. It's not an action anyone can do. And it's taking one of his workers, one of his coburn. Is there for the rest of the game, basically. But at the end of every season, he will get two points for every person that he fed. And he's Dr. Rice right now. Okay, me, I am moving four. One, two, three, four. I went past this space, which means all of my Coburn level up. I get more income. I get them one step closer to coming off. I'm tempted to pay sandals to just keep moving more. But I'm just going to stop here and get some fire protection. And... I have got three meeples out, haven't I? So I did come here for rice. It's helping Marty again. But yeah, he, he's not doing me the same courtesy, is he? Of using my characters. So now at the end of the round, it's Sun again. So I would like to help myself. How about being able to ooh, buy a couple of rice? I want colours to match up. You'll see the bonus in a minute. Uh, okay, so that's that. These come back. Blocking space goes. It's the end of the season, so we remove any unbought pipes, tobacco, or fish. All unhired cards from the current season are also gone, because we use the cards of each season. Then we do salary in these steps. Collect salary from each of your characters on the board and retired characters. So it's basically the space above where your Coburn Meeple is. So I get three money, nothing there, four money, and a sandal. Marty gets one money. One point, he's on the board. And over here he gets a rice. Then we have the Nagaya Harmony bonus. There are four groups in the markets on the board. Now in a game with more players on the other side of the board, there are four spaces in each. And these four kind of central spaces are their own group. But don't have to worry about that in a two player game. For each group, 
that's got at least two characters of the same type, regardless of who owns them. Each player multiplies their number of Cobans by the number of cards of that colour. So over here, Marty has one Coban multiplied by two cards, gets two points. Over here, we each get two points because we're both involved and there are two cards there. That's why Marty wanted that card there, by the way. I was thinking of going over there and using it because these neutral cards, as soon as they're used, they're gone. But I'm just trying to whiz around. Over here, nope. Over here, I just put the blue in for the same reason. Two points to me. So Marty's still the one ahead. Then a rice for each of your characters on the board. Covens and buildings don't need to be fed. Retired people don't need to be fed. It is just for basically your character cards with your Coban on them. So we've each got three, right? So three and three. Marty, for every one that he paid for, he gets two points. That is some acceleration. But on the other hand, he hasn't got any fish. He hasn't got any pipes or tobacco. Then we need to do a little bit of setting up. We've got new cards. We've got new tokens. So we've got the fish market here. Pay two for a fish or seven for a fish that's worth seven points. Loads. So maybe Marty... <gasps> oh, what if Marty just moves one space? And maybe I'll take the one to stop him doing that. He could still do it. Uh, then we have uh, pipes and pouches. So that's worth a point for every two steps up the fire track. Four points. Get two sandals. Get a rice. Remember, you want a load of pouches. You only really need one pipe. But you can keep buying them for the bonuses. And then we want four character cards to start us off. So I'm furthest up the fire track again. How many spaces do I want to move? Do I want to get in Marty's way? I want to go to the fish market as well. But Marty's going to get to go first. But I would get... To, he's not got much money. He's only got two money. I could wait, not hire a character, and get that amazing fish. I'm going to go four. Marty doesn't want to miss out on fish entirely. He is just going to move one. So he gets to go first. Does he want to hire a worker? I think either way, he doesn't. Because he wants to be able to afford a fish. So he's going to take the four income. And so, moves a space. He's just going to buy the cheap fish. So he's got three points on the board there. Now, does he want to go up the fire track again, but help me? Or does he want to buy some rice? Only two money for two rice. It's three over there. Yeah, he will keep refusing to help me and buy some rice. Oh, we should have a blocking space, actually, of course. So, oh, I can't have four. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would have three. Maybe I'll use my sandals. I remember the blocking. I remember to clear it off now, but put another one out. So that's Marty all done, isn't it? And he bought the rice. Yes, he's done. Oh, and this goes away. It's a neutral card. When it's used, it's gone. So it is my turn. One, two, three. I could just go here. I can't really build anything. I could build that Imperial Villa, but I haven't really stacked up on one colour of card. Yeah, I will pay... Oh, take. I'll take the income, not hire anyone. I will pay the sandal to move an extra space. And I am going to go big, spending seven money on a seven point fish and then the only character i can use is mine but that's caught the fire track that's okay i'm not getting experience from it but i'll go around again in a minute this is marty's first go around still okay end of the round and it's just it's marty to put a card out we need a money on the cards and what's he gonna do i think he's gonna try and help himself out so no even though the hiring bonuses get a fire not on these neutral ones help him with the bonus as well so i'm still furthest up the fire track oh what's being blocked it is space number one i'm gonna move the big four again marty what does he want to do i think he is just gonna move two yeah so, oh, we need to see cards. Where is my deck of cards? I'm putting them places. I can't see them. Oh, we do have... We have a cheap worker. That is quite great here. The day labourer, not very good for income. We'll only earn you... Well, we'll actually earn you negative points, so you really want to level him up as fast as possible. For one money, though, gets you two firefighting. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think, yeah, Marty's going to go for that. So he needs to level it up, so... <laughs> So he can get out of the mess that he's in. Uh, so two firefighting. And where's he going to go? Doesn't really want to pay extra, so he'll go there. Oh, no, Marty can't. All of his workers are out. He can't hire anybody. Oh, dear. He needs uh, to gain them some experience. So he'll take the money then. Not that he's got a choice. Uh, but he is going to try and do something about that now. So one, two. So everyone levels up. And oh, dear. I was going to get some rice. I wasn't thinking about this. So now Marty's uh, Saki Peddler. Uh, comes over to his player board. They still earn the income of basically the top space. You want to try and hire someone of each type, each colour. 
Uh, so he now can hire someone next round if that person's still there. I could hire this round. And the money is nice to have because he's going to visit the seamstress here for just one. This is gain an experience of one of your Coburn. I think what about the dice maker here? Make it three points of income and really close to retiring. And then the main action, two money for two sandals. That seems like a bargain. Yeah, he'll go for that. Okay, me, I'm moving the big four again. Four, and I was going to get some rice because, yeah, all this whizzing around is not helping me feed my people. I am getting another fire protection, though, and I can gain... Oh, I haven't hired. Do I want to hire first? Or would I like some money? There is the pipes and tobacco next time to think about. I'm going to take money. And yeah, so up the track and earn a money and get a sandal. The end of the... I'm not moving this at all, am I? The end of the round. Oh dear, though, there's a fire. So would that change my mind? Yeah, that would change my mind. I won't have the income. I will pay a money and hire the day labourer over here. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to put him there. I wouldn't have been able to afford that because it will give me some more fire protection because I am scared. There are two areas that could get a fire that I cannot fight. So I can put someone out... Try and help out with sets a bit. Maybe, yeah, help out with the purple set, please. Firefighter, just fire central over here. And then we get a coin on all of these people. So the used clothes peddler is now free to hire and I'm not gonna have space to show the cards. Then a fire breaks out. So we shuffle up these. They've been shuffled at the start of the game though. And we pick one. This is where the fire is going to break out which of the markets. It's going to be in purple, which is here, which isn't going to affect me. That's really going to ruin it for Marty though. Spoilers for the first impressions. I really don't like this bit of the game. So there is a fire right now with strength four. Although, you know, all the characters know there is a fire of strength four coming. So a fire of strength four comes here to the dice maker. Does Marty have four firefighting at least? No. The character is killed in the fire. Marty gets nothing. He gets his Coburn back, but Yep, that character just gone. We reduce the strength of the fire by one and it moves on. So three, this is just neutral, instantly killed. Then it comes to his building and this isn't covered in the rules. <laughs> just had to check on this. Uh, this isn't covered in the rules of the new edition. It is in the original though. There's a couple of things that are a bit amb ambiguous that are thankfully uh, pointed out in the original edition. Uh, yeah, your building would be destroyed as well. But now the fire strength is two and Marty's got two firefighting. So his building is thankfully not destroyed. That's it for the fire. We can move on to round six and the just squeezing in of cards. So the plaster there, build with a wood discount. I want to just go, oh, there's a new blocking tile in town and its name is two. That's good because I just want to move one. And yeah, I want to try and buy some tobacco and stuff. But it is the end of the round. I need to feed people or then they die. I've got four people out. Oh no. Okay, I need to change my plan. I was going to get money and then buy a, a nice tobacco pouch and stuff. But I don't have money for that. I can't hire... I can't get a card though. <gasps> oh no, I've done a terrible thing. So I have to get money. And I've skipped right past. One, two, three, four. One, two... Yeah, I can go right around and get the rice that I need. Oh, I will go right around though and everyone will get experience. Yeah, I'm just going to have to go for the big four. Oh dear. Marty, of course, rice of plenty, is going to go four. Now he would like two, I think. He wants to get some firefighting now after what just happened to him. Yeah, he's just going to go for one and pay a sandal, I think. So, hiring someone. Does he want to hire someone now that all... Of his characters were kind of wiped out. Oh, he used the seamstress, didn't he? So that car shouldn't be there anymore. Yeah, why not? For free, get this used clothes peddler out. Now, it is stacking just one colour, which is going to be no good for variety at the end of the game. And it's also a colour that Marty has already retired. You get points at the end of the game. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 for the different colours that you have retired at the end. And then Marty's moving 1, and then pay a sandal to move 2. And he's going to get fire protection, fire protection, and also clear out this purple card from uh, me getting the bonus from scoring for it. I'm going one, two, three, four, and then spending my two sandals to go five. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Oh, I've counted all wrong. I'm going to be able to feed like one person. Okay, I meant three. I thought I had enough. Four, one, two, no. Didn't count enough. I wanted to go there, and I was just going to spend all my money on rice, but I can't. So I've still got sandals at least, but there's no card here to use. 
I'm spending a money on a rice. I'm not even getting a rice as income anywhere or anything. Oh dear. At least I've got one now. What a terrible turn. Okay, so Marty chooses something to go out. I think do a building with a wood discount. He wouldn't mind being out somewhere. And block me from matching colours, kind of. Uh, although my characters aren't going to be there very long. The characters go away. Income, for now, is two for Marty and a sandals. And that's it. And then I get a money and a sandal. Minus two points and nothing. Harmony bonus. Marty gets six points here. Wow. Because it's three cards times two workers. And I get nothing for the harmony. And then, feeding your people, Marty can f spend his two rice. So he gets one, two, three, four points for that. And his stay where they are. I can spend one rice and decide which I'm going to keep alive, basically. Maybe the co cotton peddler, just because I'm so close to retirement. Uh, three cards I'm losing. It's my own fault, but... Ugh, it's so harsh. Now I don't need the firefighting. There's nobody to protect. Then we move on to a new round and we get old tokens go away. Nobody bought any tobacco or pipes there. And yeah, that's really going to affect income for future rounds. Although I suppose everybody has their Coburn available now. Everyone has got a Coburn available at least. And we need some new cards. It's autumn time. And it's time for us to see four new cards. Let's see. I want to hire people, but I want to buy fish. If Maybe I'll just move one. I'm still ahead on the firefighting track. Yeah, I don't want to just zip ahead unless I'm going to hire someone. I've only got five money. I'd like to, if I'm going to this space, I'd like to have the money to buy the rice. Maybe I won't zip ahead. I'm just going to crawl for a minute. Yeah, keep up my fish buying. Uh, then Marty... Oh, he could move loads. He's got a decent amount of money here. I think he's he's going to go for fish as well. He's going to move four. Okay, so me first for a change. I Do I want money or to hire someone? I think I want to hire someone. It's going to be someone cheap that doesn't require me to spend money. Yeah, three for the firewood peddler. And then my remaining two can go on buying this fish. I've now got 10 plus seven plus one points of fish, which I'm going to need, let's face it. No, I should actually move my character as well. Then Marty... Does he want to hire? He's got quite a bit of money. Although, one, two, three, four, he's moving four. He wants to spend four on that good fish. So no, he's not going to. He's going to just get income instead for now. And then get a cheaper person in a minute. One, two, three, four. He's going to buy the expensive fish for four. And then, yeah, he'll use my firewood peddler and get himself a wood. Oh yeah, I suppose I would use my firewood peddler as well. Why not? Then the end of the round, I can put someone out. It'd be nice if I hired someone... <laughs> a card of a different colour, basically. But what about where am I going next time? Probably to get rice. Maybe some cheap building. Let's pop it over here. Then they get a coin. We see four more. And we carry on. I'm choosing first again. Blocked off is going to be space number two again. Yeah, I want to move three spaces because I want to make sure I can feed my people this time. Be a bit more responsible. Although, someone's going to retire. I don't need to. I'm going to go. Oh, I want to go two. I do have sandals. Yeah, I'm going I'm to pick one again. I want to build up wood. I want this restaurant. Basically double your fish points. I'm going to need four points for every rice at the end of the game. Just 22 points, but you've got to have bought loads of gold for those ones. Two points for every fire protection would be nice for me. But no, that's where I'm going. Marty's going to go three. Build up his rice, I think. Although there's going to be a fire. He's got two rice. If he doesn't hire anyone, yeah, he's not going to hire. He's just going to get the four money, and he's going to go four spaces. Oh, he doesn't get the four money yet. But he will. All right, so I... I'm just going one space. Why am I going one space? Oh, yeah, I, I want to go here. And two's blocked off. Uh, so I get the four money. And I'll have to spend a sandal to go one, two. Everyone gets experience. And so my cotton peddler now. Finally, someone has retired. And I would like a wood. Even though, yeah, it gives Marty a bit of experience. And I will... Yeah, why not? I'll pay two money. For two sandals. Marty, he wants to save his money, doesn't he? Well, if fire comes in blue, I'm in trouble. One, two, three, four. Because he's only got two food. But we don't have to feed yet, though. It's fire that's coming. Is there something that could help him with fire if he didn't take that four money? Yeah, this one only costs three. This uh, clocksmith here. But, yeah, is another person that's just at risk of dying. So that costs three and gets him a fire protection. And then in this space, he's getting a fire protection. And he can't do a build. He was going to build the, the villa, but he spent his money now. Oh, and he can't pay three for two wood. So that's all he's doing. Then it's fire time. Oh, first of all, 
Who puts someone out? It's Marty. I think boost his points. Shamison player there. Three money, two points. And then a money on the rest. And fire of strength seven is going in one of the places. Oh, that one's yellow. So yeah, remember where the yellow is. Let's see. I desperately want it to be anything but blue. Blue is the only area I have a person in. And it's going to be yellow. <sighs> Which again is really unfortunate for Marty. Because he's got six fire protection which isn't enough for the strength seven fire. So unfortunately, he loses the salt peddler. The fire strength is now six. The neutral cards just go automatically. The fire strength is now five, and Marty's got six protection. So he's okay there, but still, it's lost another card. And now has kind of tried, really tried to get the protection. Uh, so that's the end of that round. Round nine, block a space, and it's going to be space three. Four more cards. Tempura stand, buy two food for two money. That's usually what I need to do. And just feeding after this, it's the end of the season. So, Marty is in front. What does he want to do? Now, he's only got two money in terms of hiring people. He's not going to hire anyone, and he's going to move one. Yeah, one. Okay, me, I... I only need one food, but I do not have any. I could get a card that gets me some food, couldn't I? But the space is in front of me. They're all full up. One, two, three, four. I'd have to spend to get here. And then I could get a cheap food anyway. Yeah, I'll go four. Marty then does not want to hire anyone, wants the money. Oh, I've already given him some money, I think. And then he's just moving one. So does he want to build? Does he want to... Probably wants to hand in his wood, actually, for three money and two points. And then he's going to buy. So this is... A point for every different character. A point for each type, so up to five. A point for the type you hired the most. Which is not particularly good for either of those at the moment. He would like, though, four for two more fire protection. And then the next fire is nine, so he should finally be safe. But watch it not affect him this time. And then, yeah, why not? Just so he's got one, he'll pay three. And then for me, I don't want to hire someone, do I? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, and I'm paying an extra sandal. Oh, so why not hire someone? No, because I'll have money for fish then as well. Yeah, don't hire someone. Spend one money for a rice. Well, and that's it. That can't just be it. I think it is. Okay, so that's that. Then Marty puts someone out. Probably wants matchup colours for himself a bit. Then it's the end of the season again. It's time for salary. Marty gets sandals, two points. Yes, I get two wood. Oh, I've just passed the building space. I could get the well as well. Uh, and yeah, that's the only one I've got out, isn't it? Then we need to... Harmony bonus, Marty gets two, four. Nothing for me, I'm not hiring people. And then pay for your workers. I just pay for one. Marty can pay for both of his and he gets two points each. One, two, three, four. And he's got his 30 point token. And then we need to fill up with... Winter's Bounty. And what have we got? We've got some tobacco pouches there. Straight five points. Point for every four money. You uh, give some experience, get yourself a Koban. And some fish. Nine money for a seven point of fish. Oh, I just have enough if I don't hire anyone. And then the last set of cards. New blocking space. Be number two. And... Who goes where? Marty chooses first. What does he want to do? He's not got much cash, so he's probably not hiring anyone. He would like more money for the fish. He's going to go three. I am definitely not going to miss an opportunity to get the final fish. My 15 point bonus. I really need to catch up. I need these bonuses. Probably need to buy a tobacco pouch. Probably just the five pointer doubled. Yeah, that's it. And I don't think either of us are hiring. Marty can't afford anyone. It was me first, though. I just want the money to be able to afford the nine fish that's worth seven extra points. And then I can get myself a wood. Marty, one, two, three. Oh, gets himself his four money as well. Can spend two for that fish, which still puts him up to ten points there and one bonus. And yeah, he'll get a wood, which does retire my character. But it doesn't really help me, actually. Still get some income. But, um, yeah, that, that doesn't particularly help me with scoring. It's just one point for one type. Okay. That's a round. Who's putting one out? It is Marty. No yellows to really make that sing. Is there a power he'd really like to use? Maybe just a money to give someone experience. Pop that up there, maybe? Yeah. So they get a money. And 
four new cards. Oh, and blocking space is going to be number one. So Marty's got some money. He could hire someone. The fire is coming, isn't it? At the end of this round, Marty's got eight fire protection. I think he's just going to go to the fire protection space. Yeah. Just going to go to the fire protection space. Going to move four. I wanted to move four. I want to build something. So I'm going to have to go three. I've got sandals. It's okay. So yeah, I'm going first. Do I want to hire anyone? No, because I've got no money. So I'll <laughs> have four of it, please. Three, four. So I've got all this wood already. I'm going to get fire protection. I've got no one out, so I've got no risk. Uh, my building is actually at risk. It'll be okay, actually. Yeah, I, I'm okay on that because I can build for a one... Oh, no, I don't want to build yet. Don't have a fire protection. I don't want to build yet. I Yeah, I want to go here and get... I will pay three money for two rice. I need rice to build the fish restaurant. At least I know Marty can't take it from me. And then I get... I'll use this neutral one, get a rice and a sandal. And then that card's gone. Marty does have some money. I think he's going to go for a building. One, two, three, four. Oh, he has... Yeah, he's got... Yeah, he wants income then. So he's going to spend four money. I think he's going to get wood now. Yeah, he's going to just go here, pay three for two wood and get fire protection. Then I can put someone out. I haven't hired anyone yet. Let's stop. Things being really cheap for Marty. Although, they'll be cheap for me as well. Everyone else gets some money because we're apparently not hiring people anymore. I think like, through the number of uh, kind of fire incidents and uh, starvation incidents that have been caused by people, not naming their names, hiring us become terrifying for us anyway so there's some new cards the blocking space oh i need oh what was on four i think we're blocking four but we need to have a fire which is gonna be one of these how many times should i move these things about in my hand let's i've got a die over here of course i do it's a funky die anything other than a one to four number one there we go thanks role player adventures it's going to be blue which affects nobody marty would have been protected anyway though if it affected him this time okay then so and it would have got rid of some neutral things so we are in the final main round marty does have some money oh he could get some tobacco pouches and do some building yeah he needs more money then he's just going to get income oh no he's uh, he needs to choose how many spaces first one I think i'm going to go for two i would like some kind of pouch as well marty Income, move his one space. He's going to build for a one wood discount the well because it's going to be 18 points for him. Just pop it out. He's got someone to go on it. It's not going to cost him any money. Building with the plasterer there. Only needs three wood. And then he's got nine money. So, points wise, he's not going to have a load of money left. I think he's just going to spend seven of it on that pouch. And he could just. Giving someone experience help. We get a little bit more income, maybe. Yeah, he'll buy that. Two money. No problem. And I'm so glad that I've got sandals because Marty's completely ruined. He's done what I want to do. That's just a neutral worker. And so he's gone. That I want to build. So I'm not going to be able to get these pouches. Although, yeah, the, Marty, the one Marty had was the good one. So not going to hire anyone. I'm going to move my one, two, and then pay a sandal to move over. Yeah, I could sell a rice. Sell a rice for four money. Because rice and sandals are worth nothing at the end of the game. Lucky that we've got loads of sandals. And then build something. Yeah, I've got no one out that I need to feed, have I? Three wood. I'll get a one wood discount. So two wood and two rice for the restaurant. Will the fish points save me here? The double fish points. And then that's gone. Marty can put a new card out. Is there a brown? Well, that's the best to do, isn't it? Three points for him there. Or rather than just increasing by one point, he puts out another yellow, and then that's plus two points, because that would score nothing on its own. It's only pairs or more that score. At the end of month 12, which it is, we remove all of the winter cards. Those cheap, cheap hires. We needed income more, sorry. The fish and the pipes and the tobacco stay. There's an opportunity to buy them one last time. We take back our meeple and pop them on the board. And we need to do income. So it's not going to be... There is income for me, actually, from my retired people. So I'm going to get two wood, sandals, and a money. And then Marty gets rice, sandals, two points. Oh, yeah, and harmony bonus we haven't done. Oh, that's next. That's Yeah, that's salary. Harmony bonus. Marty gets two, four. And 
I really scored two points throughout the game. I think I scored a few more and then I lost them. Then feed your people. I've got no one to feed. Marty? Oh, where's Marty's rice? What's what's Marty's thing for? He wants a lot of the same type. Marty can only feed one of his two people. What's happened? He's supposed to be Dr. Rice. I could build that Imperial Villa. It's worth four at least. Okay, it's New Year's Day. It's the final round. In order of firefighting power, so Marty first, then me, we just place our character on the street and do an action as normal. If it's another player's character, they get experience, and then we will have the final scoring. So Marty first, where can he do anything? He can't retire a character. It's too far away, unless I, unless he upgrades them here, and then I go there, which I probably wouldn't do. Got no resources, no money. I think then, the best thing that he can do is... It's two, he, could, he could get a point, or he could sell a sandal for four money, which is also a point, but every firefighting is worth two points, so he'll just go here and up his firefighting. He scored two. For me, I want to build, I think... I, could, I do have ten money, so that's two and a half points, and I could buy two um, Koban, and they're three points each. So that's turning two and a half points into six points. I could build the Imperial Villa, but it kind of costs points. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Set, spend t 10 money, which is the amount of money I have, to get to Koban. Okay, it's scoring time. First of all, points on the score track. Marty has 40 to my two. The variety of characters you hired. <laughs> Awful for both of us. Hiring at an all-time low here. Uh, then fish. Okay, so Marty's are going to be 10, 11 points. Mine... 15, 22, 29, 30. So there I've caught up some. Tobacco patches, I have two points that's doubled into four. Marty has five, and then characters he hired of um, yellow. I don't think the one he hired there, let me know if that counts, I don't think it does. So six doubled is 12. Then buildings, Marty has two points for every firefighting, which is 20, and then two on the farmhouse there. It's got 22. I've got my fish score again as a building, which is 30. Three points for every Koban, which is six for me, none for Marty. A point for every wood, which is five for me. I might take this. And then four points for every money. No one's got any money. So Marty has 52, 64, 86. And I have 37, 67, 73. <gasps> Still not close enough. <laughs> Makes sense. I did have that awful turn where there was uh, a terrible rice shortage, not because of lack of funds or anything, just uh, lack of oversight. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some idea of how to play Iki or maybe how not to play it. Feed your people. Anyway, if you'd like to know what I think about the game, then there'll be a link to that video of me talking about Iki uh, in the description or it's coming up on the screen very soon. If you'd like to help me keep making more playthroughs, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips would be an amazing visit. Thank you for watching though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.